outfit, so I am off work today, so I can get crazy with my makeup. As always, I apologize for the way I sound, can't help it, can't sleep in that to me, and I live in Mississippi, I cannot turn my air conditioner off. So, we will just have to deal with the sound. I pulled my hair back just to get it out of my face, but I did want to show you that I got a haircut. Oh, I just broke one of my insects, but oh well. So yeah, I got an undercut. I, I have my foundation on, but no powder yet. I am going to do a little bit of contouring with this. And I know I'm saying the name of the place wrong, but because it's like French or whatever, but Ritual to Fill is how I'm pronouncing it because I'm American. I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce it the right way. And it, it is their Eclipse Inner Glow Cream Pigment. It, it is the product that was, well, sorry, my camera won't pick up. It is a product that was touted as being the anti-highlighter. And it's pretty versatile, so I'm going to put a little bit of it on my lips for now. It's just to help keep my lips moist. And I'll put another lipstick on over it at the end. Because of the radiation treatment that I had to my face. Because of the cancer. It's just, it's so dry. My lips are so dry and everything, so. So yeah, this product is versatile. And if I go ahead and put it on my lips now, then we're not having to like look at ugly, ugly um, foundation looks. Okay, so I can't do anything about the hole that's left in my neck from the trait that I had, or these ugly scars. So I will be putting on a chapter necklace later, but for now, I want to try to hide the double chin. And just some general contouring with this product. It's just a real light coverage, I'm not doing anything too dark or dramatic. So this is a side that is more soaked in from my center, so but you see how my face is not symmetrical. Right, I think I can throw some powder on. I've been using this one lately. Works fine. Alright, so I am using this Dance Cosmetics Glam Reflections Glow Palette. I want something kind of purpley, but almost, this might be a little too purple. Uh, I had a palette here that was, had a brown that was more of a cool tone, so it was purple. Let me go ahead and see if this will work. What I'm wanting to do is just give kind of the outline and hmm, it'll be alright. It's a little more purple than I wanted. But it'll be fine. So just to kind of give the shape of my eye and since it is a purpley color, it also has the added effect of giving me that bruised or corpse-like uh, skin color. And I'm bringing it in quite a bit more than I normally would with my makeup as well. Yeah, I want that eye socket corpse looking, you know what I mean. And yes, I'm bringing it out quite a bit as well. 
I wish I had my eyebrows done. I really, really did. And even though I'm old, and this is not something that you should do when you're old, I am bringing this quite a bit underneath my eye. Enter, enter the pants of my eye, you know what I mean? Enter that part that normally, especially at my age, we're wanting to cover up, you know? But I want the pads today. It's just when you're my age, you end up with more of the wrinkles and with the uh, makeup wants, wanting to settle in those wrinkles. But I can't help it. Alright, and now that I have that basic shape and that basic corpse like appearance there. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and I'm going to just fast forward through that for you so that you don't have to so the video is not too long. And I'm right back. Alright. Now that I am looking sufficiently corpse like I think the first step should be to put some primer on my lid and I have four of the Baby Pat Beauty um, shadows that I have not used yet in a video or at all I haven't even opened them and this one is the ethereal and it's more of a purple and this one is amulet very um kind of sw swatches from blue to purple and so these are like the multi -chrome. I've got this pink, which is not a multi -chrome. I don't think I want it today. And then there is Lucid. Alright, I want to try the amulet because it seems to be a very pretty color. I like the shifting tones in it. From purple to blue. Very pretty. Well. I can't get it to shift for the camera. It's being shy. Right, so I've got me this little flat brush. But the camera is picking up only the blue, but in my hand, it looks purple. I can't, there a little bit, showing me the purple trying, trying to anyway. Alright. So I'm just going to dab, dab some of this on the brush. And I'm just going to kind of blend the edge a little. So you see the difference after I'm blending it from this side to this side. And yeah, it does take away some of that color a little bit, but we're not done yet. Right, I'm going to go into a black, any black will do. And deep in this outer corner, and I'm going to be very generous with it and bring it out into it, like this part of my face, whatever that's called. I'm going to put some of that black shadow tighter on, on, the, on the eyelid than the other, what am I trying to say, that purple bruise color. When your eyes are as thin as mine, trying to make this illusion that they're not can be tricky. Especially when you haven't got your eyebrows done. <laughs> it might be a bad idea for me to use um, this liner from the Ritual of the Film because I can't get as precise of a line as. I could if I was using um, a liquid liner. But I'm gonna give it a try.
That's in heaven. Now the only thing left is some lashes. Uh, I'm gonna put these lashes on. I actually expected the lashes to be more dramatic. But look, I can't even tell that there's a lash on this side versus this side. Alright, the final thing that I'm gonna do is put a wig on and I'm trying to decide which wig I want to wear. 